and welcome to the roulette. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. Have you ever peed so hard and so fast that it feels like you're coming? N- no, but I have peed so hard and fast that I accidentally broke the sound barrier going backwards. That sounds amazing. And it was like I had a jet propelled cock. Wow. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. And I am fascinated. I'm fascinated. In the almost 25 plus years that I've known Michael Riley, I've never heard that sentence come out of his mouth. What, jet propelled cock? That's true. It's not something I say very much. No. We play, we're play. we playing in the N64 games, by the way, and I've spun the wheel, and this is what we start with. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah. Oh. I don't, I don't know about this, my guy. I don't. Oh, oh Tom Cruise looks oh, ugly. Oh, God. Whoa. Can he, like, not do that? Can, you just, <laughs> can he not can be he, like can this? He, can, he go, can he go away, please? I don't want to play with a rumble pack. Fuck off. It's ridiculous. I don't even think... Oh, Christ. I wouldn't even think... Oh, this logo. Robocop. Oh. Robocop 2. Robocop uh, 3. No, this is the game, the company that made that shitty Robocop 2 game we played on SNES. <laughs> oh, that's already bad news. It's already bad news brown. Yeah. Are you blonde? Oh, it's Are we sure that's not white hair? <coughs> is, is, is Mr. Felt... What is going on with Candace Parker's face? I have no idea. Who is this? Jack Kiefer. Is this based off the TV show and not the movies? I, I, possibly. Because I don't... Because where's Emilio Estevez? Because he was in the movie. All right, leave her alone. <laughs> uh, please don't look at me like that. <laughs> stop! Stop it! Stop, stop it. it, Ethan! Stop! Can we get some like? Can we get some scary music as we? Uh... Well, the the image is gone now. Never mind. Yeah. I was gonna say, just bring a bring up a clip of that face with some scary horror movie music as it goes closer and closer. Like, no, no, get away! And uh, yeah. Wait a second. Does that say level possible? Yeah. I thought this the was difficulty. mission impossible. Difficulty levels. <laughs> the difficulty selection uh, was possible or impossible. I see. Hmm. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. So, as we are recording this, it is the 6th of March. Yes. And we just had our first weekend of shows of murder at the orient express and, and considering the, that it was sold out I, I would imagine it went pretty well well it did Uh-oh. but oh there's there seems to be some sort of brain fart on the part of somebody in the audience because you know that little thing where people say hey turn your cell phones off before the show starts during Sorry. one of my scenes on Saturday, where I'm literally trying to reveal who the killer is, all of a sudden, we hear very faintly, Wake up, little Susie, wake up. <laughs> so it's like, uh, okay. Did you, did, you, is... did you improv? <laughs> no. I was going to say. Absolutely. So I keep going with the scene, and it gets louder. Wake up, little Sue. <laughs> it's like, what is, what the fuck is going? Is what is life right now? That person Some, needs to be kicked out. <laughs> I don't know why this person was not kicked out. They literally, their cell phone was going off, and they took it out. Like, oh, oh, it's my cell phone. Oh, mm, gee, oh, gee, Whitlockers. Hold on, let me put it up against this 30, microphone so that everybody can hear it. <laughs> Thirty seconds, which is an eternity when you're on a on stage. stage. Yeah. 
So finally, the stage manager leaned forward and was like, <clears throat> and the person was like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't want to break character because I didn't want to ruin the immersion. But I was very close to doing a Patty LuPone, like, turn your fucking cell phone off, you window licking fuck face. There's no, so, jump, there's no jump button? There's apparently no jump button. All right, cool. Good to know. That I find that very difficult to believe. That there's no jump button? In a game like Mission Impossible? Oh, there it is. Hey, I pressed A button like a bunch of times and it wouldn't jump. Am I even saying this to be a smart ass, but maybe the hit detection is so bad that because you were... Running against the step, it was like, nope. Who's shooting at you? Oh. Those guys. This is just a poor man's golden eye, if you ask me. Yeah, I'd say I'd say so. It's it's a it's the dog's bollocks. Oh. I was I was never a fan of Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible, yeah, no, I the the game, the movie, or the TV show can't can't say that I ever was either. I'll be honest. I mean, it doesn't help that uh, Tom Cruise is you know the way he is now, just himself. This friggin' being flickering is not helping me. <laughs> Give me a second to see if I can. That is a little. Figure out that why is a that's little, happening. That whole Scientology boo-boo. Yeah, that's true. See if that Whoa, worked. Okay, nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Suffice to say... Suddenly, that su suddenly Ethan died. <laughs> oh, oh, what's this? Oh, my God. Okay, why does it flicker like that? That doesn't make no sense to me. Mm -hmm. That's oh, for goodness sake! Yeah, the it's the flickering is pretty awful. I mean, this game is pretty awful. That's true. So that's just the that's just the the uh, icing on the cake. Yes, I shot that guy in the nuts. He had it coming. <laughs> Deal with it. That's what you have. That's what you get for having balls. <laughs> you man, you yes. And I don't mean Manchester United. <laughs> Man, you have penis. Yeah. I'm funny sometimes. You're funny lots of times. You're funny a hell of a lot more than I am. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think you're pretty fucking funny. I think you're Rita Rutter funny. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> bang. <laughs> Comedy bang bang. Uh, Goobity goo. How Canadian do we want to be tonight? <laughs> um, six point red green. Uh, what? I failed. What does that mean? Uh, what? Well, what? What'd you do? How you fail? What the who? I, I don't know, but it said I failed. And then told me, told me to abort mission. Huh? I don't get it. I don't either. I'm starting to suspect. And this is just a theory, of course. A game theory. Yeah. This game is very bad. Yeah. It certainly looks that way. Okay, we don't need to see I... the whole goddamn thing again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <coughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the flickering, and I don't know how to fix it. So, uh... Seems like Doom Part 2 is chugging right out the gate already. Doom Part 2? Like, a movie? Or... Dune Part 2. Oh, Dune. I thought you said Doom. I was like, no. I, I did not hear about any Doom. 
after that first, first Doom movie, after that first Doom movie, Doom movie, yeah, you just I didn't see sequel going for that. However, Dune Part Two is getting aces across the board. I see. And I am hoping to go and see it at some point very soon. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Fred, and I'm looking for my dog. Looking for my dog? Uh, What the? Well, that sucks. I have no earthly idea what happened there. But apparently you were I lied, looking... I lied about a dog, and then he got shot, and that was the end of that. And uh... and you failed the objective, apparently. I did, I failed the objective. Yeah, this is... Uh, this this game wants to be GoldenEye, and it's it's never going to be GoldenEye, and that's the problem. Um, This game... See, there's a big difference. GoldenEye is a good game. Yeah, and this is... And... Blah, 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 ass. It's blah, 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 ass. Blah, 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 ass. And a failed ass. It's a big bubble bass. Phelps, abort mission. Whoever. Eight, abort mission. Who is telling you to do that? Phelps. Oh, Mr. Phelps. Okay. How do you abort the mission? Do you just leave? Oh. Uh, last time I just jumped into the river and I apparently sank to the bottom because... Ethan Hunt is made of a bag of rocks. <laughs> so what you're saying is you went to where the river flows? Do 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 do. That's literally an abort. Oh, that's just yeah. There we go. All right. Ice <laughs> hit more like ice shit. Yeah, I, I, shit. I guess I'll give it one more try because I gotta fill some time. So. How I but how are you supposed to change your identity? I That's, don't have I, any I, fucking clue. Neither do I. Copy. Let me look at the objectives. That doesn't help. You should land unnoticed. Get to the sub panel on the other side of a very long and well guarded tunnel. Okay. Oh, uh, that doesn't help. Very silent, very deadly, just like Billy. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, I have, I have so apparently, thing. you had equipment to make a face maker. I see. That would have been. Useful info. That would have been helpful yeah. to know, yeah. Oh, boy. This is scintillating. What? But did you make a new face? I guess not. Oh, wait. What? I gotta figure out how to get to the face change. Oh, uh, the, wait a minute. Hold on. The face changing thing. Aha! Uh-huh. Oh! Okay. And I gotta put the gun away, so I gotta change to the fist. Hello, I am I'm an old man. Apparently. Hello, I am guard. <laughs> Hello, how do you do, fellow guard? Yep, I'm just gonna I just jump for joy at being here. I'm a guard. As a guard. Yay, woo -hoo, <laughs> okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Mm-hmm. Can I come in? What did, what did that say? I don't know. Uh, God damn it. 
Stop. You're you're going too fast. Oh, let vehicles. Do. Oh, I see. But the, the vehicle. So do I, I have see. to? Can you get into a vehicle? I'm, I'm gonna try. Hey, you. Drive. <laughs> hey, hey. Excuse me. Can I wait? Can I get into this vehicle? Uh. Uh. Apparently, you can't do something as simple as you know climbing up that one-inch thing. But you know. Hey, can you drive? Come here. No, I guess not. Uh huh. All right. So. Anybody here know how to drive a tank? No? Okay. Who the fu oh, I was talking to that dude in the front of the truck. What? Oh. How, how in the fuck? <laughs> what? I'm punching the devil. Truck. I'm taking my anger out on this I'm truck. Find something to have delivered an envelope. Oh, I see. I'm. So I, I don't a, know. Was... I gotta find an envelope of some variety. Okay. Well, um. Gotcha. Maybe there's something back at the guardhouse. <laughs> back at the guardhouse. Back at the guard hills. The guild. The guild ah, hills. Aha! All right. Okay. Now let's find excuse for errand. Yeah, that there was an envelope on the oh. table. I just picked it up. So let's go gotcha. back to the thingy now and see uh, see if they'll let me through. That thing. That thingy. If I can feel my toes. Oh, <laughs> cause it's so cold. I eat cold for breakfast. Is that what he said? Um, he has a very poor diet. Huh. I eat breakfast for lunch. That's I mean, right. it's easy to do. We just eat waffles. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not disputing it. I'm just telling you yeah, what I do. I'm not disputing. I'm not Rasputin. I'm not Vladimir Putin. Okay, so now what do I do? Is the next um, is the next great question of our of our time here in this game? I don't know. I think you curl up in a ball and cry. There's some vehicles over here. Let's find out. If I can drive one of them. Uh, no, maybe not. How do? Yeah, how do? It's a good question. There's a. Mm. You telling me I can't get into this bloody car? It's, yeah, you can't get into the bloody car because there's dead bodies in it. That's where all the blood came from. <laughs> uh, I killed me. Yeah, I don't... Mm. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, I have no Forget idea. this game, man. Excuse ah. me. Ah, go You uh. said I'll be there in a jiffy, but I don't. He'll be there in a jiffy pop. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Fuck this. Uh, th I, thoughts, I, I, on, I, thoughts on Mission Impossible, Dade. That was terrible. I this game wants to be Goldeneye, but fails in every conceivable way. I don't understand how this got Nintendo seal of approval. 
Yeah, this is just like confusing as hell. The controls are fine for the most part, but trying to figure out where you're supposed to go is tough. And that's to say the very least. Scores out of 10, Dane. One. Yeah, one. Wouldn't give it any more than oh, that. That was just, that was disgusting. It's pretty bad. Pretty booed. All right. Uh, so we're gonna spin this wheel again. And see, hopefully, hopefully we get something better hopefully than that. We get, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> After that, all we can do is go up. Yeah, do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, it's a great song by Grandpa Rare. Locomotive? Yeah. What the heck? Oh, okay. This looks... This looks kind of cool. I feel like you played something similar to this. I did play... We played Extreme G... Mm. Which is similar to this. This is Arrow Gauge. Oh, yes. Wait, is this the demo screen? Yeah, it's a demo. Oh, okay. Arrow Gauge! Yeah, Novice is fine. Exit. That works. Perfect. Let's go to Grand Pricks mode. Whoa! That's an unlock... So I, I did unlock all the uh, bonus vehicles. So that's that's pretty fucking weird. You can just Let play me, what? play as an N64 controller. Y Why you know what? I'll do it. I was gonna say, you know what? Fuck it. Let's let's take a look and see what that. That's so weird. I love when games do shit like this, though. Huh. Well, wow. is this just like a qualifying race, or it must be? This is what happens when you're moving when you're moving the controller around, trying to get in wet, dry world in Super Mario. I mean, 64. it's actually pretty accurate because oh, the, oh, oh, the N64. Oh. Wow, the N64 controller does kind of look like a spaceship. It does. This is kind of insane. It's Holy insane, shit. but. It Whoa! This is this is actually kind of cool. I yeah, I got I, I gotta gonna... I gotta agree. I'm actually enjoying this. Holy shit balls! Hmm. Looked like there was a separate area I could have gone to. Final lap. This is just like I. This must just be like qualifying because I'm not racing against anybody. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh, I'm getting a little barfy. Okay. Yep. Can't be doing that. Oh, that's a wall. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. Nintendo products are notoriously durable. I can't count how many N64 controllers I've chucked across the room. They tend to not break. Yeah. That must be that must be Jace. Hi, Jace. Yeah. Hello. Look at what you, we're playing. You just missed. You missed Mission Welcome. Impossible, which I don't know that you'd really missed it because it was shit. It was straight up garbage. Yeah. Now we're playing Arrow. I, I remember. Uh, I remember this game because this is basically uh, a flying <laughs> version of uh, Zero G or Extreme G, rather. Yeah. As I say, because Dane pointed out we played something similar to this, and uh, yeah, Extreme G is very similar to this, but. Yeah, I I don't know this. This is actually not bad so far. Oh, so yeah, uh, that was qualifying. Okay. What's What's interesting is uh, I want to say it was uh, I can't remember the name of the studio, but it was one of the studios that uh, no longer exists. Uh, Sony uh, shut it down, but they made a game similar to this called Wipeout. Uh, uh, yes, and there's one of them did version. come out on 64. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get to that before yeah. Sony bought them out. Oh, try not to go mm -hmm. round and round and round and be barfy. 
<laughs> well, I don't want to be barfy now. Don't want to be barfy. You don't want to be up chucking everywhere. Whoa, Nelly. N64 controllers are durable. You can uh, you can set them uh, on fire. Yeah, and still work. I mean they're they're durable except for the joysticks. Yeah, that's. I true. watched all. I watched a whole thing about that. Apparently, uh, there's a big issue with uh, joysticks. Like, nobody's making replicas anymore, replacements. That is, that uh, is, that is a problem. Accurate replacements, uh, like the originals, because the... Uh, ow, even, ow. even though we have the, uh, the Bluetooth one for the uh, Switch Online... Um, that actually is not the same. It's not optical like the uh, original N64 one was. Which reminds me, I probably don't have Switch Online anymore because that would have renewed like a couple months ago. And my credit card info has changed since then, so it's probably not renewed. <laughs> uh, well, I I just renewed it and uh, I still have spots open on uh, on mine. So... You know... We all know the hardships that the joysticks have gone through. Yeah. Remember <laughs> Mario Party. I was going to say, remember Palmgate? You remember that? Yep. Oh, and Pretty Nintendo much. had to uh, shell out for uh, gloves for everybody. And they literally had to do a disclaimer like, Nintendo wants you to stop doing this, even though that's the strategy of the game. Yeah. Uh, literally, like, if you bought a copy of Mario Party, we will send you four pairs of gloves. Six what, I find very, what I find very funny is that I didn't even have to say Mario Party and Jace already knew what I was talking about. Yep. That's because I was one of those people who suffered from that. I rented that from freaking Blockbuster back in the day and shredded the hell out of both of my palms. Um, in fact, mm. like, I, I bought weightlifting gloves just to play Mario Party <laughs> when hey, I was a kid. Look at the blisters on your hands, son. You must work outdoors. No, I just played Mario Party for the N64. <laughs> Bikini Island Qualify. All right. Bikini Bottom? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sponge Boy Me Bob. <laughs> Sponge boy, me, me boy, me boy, me boy, me boy, me boy, me. <laughs> you stole me million dollar, you little fucking shithead. <laughs> Mr. Krabs, you're saying bad words. Duh. Duh. I can't do it properly because my hands are on the controller. See. Okay, because you got to you, you like rub your throat like Tom Kenny does. I can't do that. Yeah. We've been doing the show Tom for 20 Kenny. years, SpongeBob. I just don't care anymore. Well, even longer than that, like 25, I think. Yeah. This year's the 25th anniversary of SpongeBob. Oh, dear Lord. I know. It's it's kind of mind-blowing how many things are going through, like, 25th anniversaries and still going. Mm. It's crazy. Then again, it's crazy that the Switch is it, still going yeah. at seven years. But they're starting to they're starting to unveil the Switch, Switch Two. Yeah, the second, the new, the next, the next console. I think uh, they said next year. They said next year. I think that's that's the rumor. You know, that's the rumor. The, uh, with one the of the rumor come out, does Nintendo Switch is gay? <laughs> Answer: It is bisexual. Ah, yes. I mean, uh, one one of the uh... that's valid. One of the launch uh, titles or near launch titles will probably be that new Pokemon game. Near launch Pokemon titles. Legends. No, uh, near Automata was a different game. <laughs> Surprisingly, uh, actually, uh, I've, I've been wanting to play it, but uh, hey, oh, this yeah, is I a just very, do not have the time. <laughs> this is a very interesting announcement. Second inductee into the 2024 class Hall of Fame. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. I love it. I'm glad to see her getting some nerve. Great. Yeah. Well, uh, she did start up a new wrestling uh, uh, 
company. Group. Yeah, a new uh, also wrestling fed. A, a fucking amazing wrestler. Watch any yeah. of her matches with the Lunder Blaze. Well, we're get, we're getting actually um, between the fact that she's got a new promotion and uh, Mr. Polly Dangerously is getting inducted. She right. probably like I think her WWE career would have been a lot longer if she hadn't you know been doing the cocaine. And also the fact that there was literally what three women in the women's division. Yeah, there was a lot of those, those two and Bertha Faye. And every so often they had a Joshi wrestler come in, which is unfortunate because Bertha Faye was actually a really good wrestler too, and they saddled her with that gimmick. And. Apparently, according to Harvey Whippleman, he hated being her manager and vice versa. Yeah, well. Like, whatever. Hey, Harvey. 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 I, mean, I, I guess Harvey, I should. Harvey the Whippleman. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be disparaging him. He is a one time moments champion. Oh my God! Harvey There's Whippleman, going to be an attorney at law. <laughs> There's going to be an achievement in WWE 2K24. Where's that referee? Yeah, I saw that too. That is beautiful. Uh, I don't get <laughs> it. Where's that referee? It's the, it's the Cody Rhodes' story about Ted DiBiase Jr. Oh. It's he you, was if, trying if to you fast, fuck on it's if me. If you fast count as a special guest referee, if you fast count, you get the where's that referee achievement. <laughs> I, <did. laughs> I so, you know so you I hate to say it, that almost makes me that almost makes me want to play the game you know so some news coming out of the uh, uh, the music world today uh -huh. uh, the NBA and um, the music industry have gone together <gasps> and they made a clone uh, singer. Uh, it's called uh, Kareem uh, Paula Abdul Jabbar, and her first single is coming out very soon. It's called Promise of a New Layup. Oh no! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> this this sounded clever in my head. <laughs> I, I just want to assure you. I, I, it, I was gonna say this sounds like something that like NBA would come up with using like well, AI marketing. <laughs> I mean, they did the same. I'll, I'll let you they did the same thing with Tiffany, and they you, her first single was, I think, "We're a Clone." Now, well, I might as well confess <laughs> that I I got that joke from the show Roundhouse from Nickelodeon. So, I sing to my hand all the time. I think we're alone now. Dun, 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 dun. The beating <laughs> of my dick is the only. Sound. You know what? You can finish this fucking episode yourself. Oh, shut yeah. up! Shut the fuck up! Can I get some help. You, you're a fucking fuck. You're a fucking fuck. You're pizza. Yeah, you, 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 you know, you know what your hand said. What did, what did my hand? Nice knob. Thanks, knob. Nice knob. Well, thank you, hand. My hand just sued me for sexual harassment. Your my le your le my left hand took out a restraining order against me. Yeah. How's that fucking work? Are you gonna be like? The, are you gonna be like the main character from Kingpin? <laughs> Does anybody here have a Phillips head screwdriver? Yeah, for exactly. But the good thing, uh, good thing about being able to do this from home tonight, it's that means somebody's gonna have to, to the shove, board. Somebody's gonna shove Jace's head into the ball return. <laughs> oh God! Hey, shut the fuck up, Doc. Oh wait, that's wrong Lebowski, bowling. That's Lebowski. Yeah. Wrong, wrong bowling. You're out of your Wrong movie on. with bowling. This is what it's happens when you... Speaking of bowling, uh, it's been a fascinating thing to watch on YouTube. Uh, Who do you think you are? I am. Uh, <laughs> Moist Critical apparently is a bowling savant. When are you going to stop talking uh, in the third person, Jace? You know, <laughs> I saw... He, he made a video where he was like, I was on a blind date and I totally wrecked this girl in bowling. I just whipped her ass and then uh, she didn't want a second date. I don't know why. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, from there, he's been doing these occasional videos where he 
like talks about his bowling journey to bowl a perfect game and i'm just like wow this this dude's got it like short short man can bowl he is like he is how we say bowling shoe ugly <laughs> bowling <laughs> shoe ugly. so Char- charles charles is an attractive man in, no, in right, a youtuber right. sense you know that's not it, your name. moist critical Listen, if Moist Critical came up to me and said, Hey, Dane, do you want to make out? I, I would I would say yes. Hey, hey, Dane, do you want to make out? Yes, Daddy. Dane, <laughs> finally, Dane. finally, Jace admits it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, as opposed to as opposed to the fact that there are also like plenty of people out there who look like doppelgangers of mine as well. Like Brental Floss and uh, yeah, Hydraulic Press Channel. There was a, there was a time where we where we called you Brental Floss a lot. <laughs> Which is funny because Brental Floss is older than me. You're older than I, you've ever been, and now you're even. I, I looked it up, and I'm going, <laughs> "Wow, this dude is like freaking three, four years older than me." Like shit. <laughs> that makes me feel a lot better about myself. I'm actually the same age as the guy who makes the uh, hydraulic press videos listen, from Finland. Listen, bald don't crack, all right? You just, just got to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at Stone Cold. What? <laughs> Jason, you know, there's there's Jason rumors Ever of him coming back for one, one more. <laughs> Hell, look at, uh, look at H. John Benjamin. Hey, you put an S in front of Jace the Ace. You have my thoughts on that. What? What? <laughs> so Jace the Ace? <laughs> S- S- Jace? <laughs> I'm, I'm just sitting here going, uh... I was, <laughs> I was doing that joke uh, while we were watching Royal Rumble back in January and Indy Hartwell came out. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, you put an S in front of Hartwell, and you have my thoughts on that. <laughs> the whole room died. Indy oh Shart- my God. Indy Shartwell. She will never be anything but Indy Shartwell now. <laughs> Youch. So, me- meanwhile, uh, Sting's last Meg match. Bra. No. <laughs> meanwhile, in Meg Griffin's bra. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, uh... I, uh, fourth place. That's not so bad. That that was that was not bad. That was not bad. Yep. Good uh, fourth place. You know, still. Uh, You're too slow. That's true. But <laughs> makes me the third loser. But uh, I I also like how instead of showing uh, like a symbol for the N64 controller, it's the joystick. Yeah, it's just the joystick. The, the most breakable thing on the controller. <laughs> That's how it goes. Thoughts on Arrow Gauge, Dane? He stepped away. <gasps> oh, of course he did. Uh, thoughts on Arrow Gauge, Jace? <laughs> oh, I mean... Uh... Wait, wait. No, oh. I'm here. I'm here. He's, he's, he's back. He's back. All right. Thoughts oh. on Arrow Gauge, Dane? I told you. I told you I had to step out of the I room. I didn't hear you say anything about that. All right. I... If you play back the clip, I said I'll be back in a month. Watch, watch, watch me play. I, I watch actually heard play. him say that. I didn't. <laughs> it's in the recording. Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll see. A, we'll anyway, see about that. Um, this was a very awesome game. Uh, seeing you play as a fucking N64 controller was very funny. Um, this is one of the games I wish I knew about this. Back when I had an N64, because I definitely would have played the shit out of this game. Oh, I I remember this one vividly. This is, uh, I mean, like, between this one, Extreme G, and Wipeout, um, I'd I'd say that I liked Extreme G more just because I liked the weapons, um, and this game didn't have weapons. Uh, This is more like uh, a cross between F Zero and Star Fox. I was just getting ready to mm. mention F Zero, yeah. You know, because you've got a damage meter, you know, but at the same time, that's not a bad thing. Like, you know, it's it's really freaking high quality. And if Nintendo were to make a new 3D entry, 
in F Zero? Well, I mean, I mean, we've had F Zero GX, you know, it's, mm -hmm. which is GameCube quality, so it's a step up from the N sixty four. Yeah, but I mean, you, you, yeah, you can't go wrong with this. This is this is we have F Zero at home because F Zero sixty four wasn't a thing yet. It's true. Yeah, this was a lot of fun to play. It's uh, it, as as Jason pointed out. It's it's very much. It's very F zero. It's very F zero, and it's very extreme G. Um, and it's a lot. Of, there's a lot of Star Fox in there as well. Um, it's a lot of fun to play. It don't, just try not to get too barfy <laughs> when you're playing it. Uh, <laughs> scores, scores out of ten, Dane. Nine. Jason. Uh, nine. Yeah, that's a that's a nine for me as well. I'd say. Apparently, the rock came in eighth place. Pepperoni. <laughs> well, that was a big fucking step up from the garbage Mission that was fucking dude. impossible. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Right. Well, I mean, what do you expect from Ocean? That, yeah. yeah, I did point that out as we were starting to play that. <laughs> oh, this will be an interesting one. Goodbye. Hmm. Uh, what what is this? You'll find out in just a second. We'll is it? Hmm. We're human entertainment. Human. Born oh. to make mistakes. The, ah, oh, nice. Is this uh, what? What's 1080 snowboarding? No. Nope. Oh. Okay. This is uh, Air Border 64. Oh, I've never heard of this one. That's because it didn't come out in America. It was supposed oh, okay. to. So it was a Japanese exclusive. It, no, this is a. Uh, this is European. Yeah. It came out in Europe and it came out in Japan. It was supposed to come out here as Airborne USA, but it did not. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me one minute. I'll be right back. I Alf. remember the artwork very Alf. vividly, Alf. too. Oh, <laughs> He's it. back Bobby. in airboarding form. <laughs> Chris. Dave. Dave. Ellen. <laughs> Four. Go, go, go ten. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, gen Genos? Genese? Gen genocide? No. <laughs> Hilda. Well, why Why is she posing like a uh, well, I gotta go with slav that. in a Whoa. track suit? All right. Uh, Ikachu? Oh, God. I, I got to do that one. There was one called Ikachu. Yeah, I saw that. Which, which actually, considering that this was around the era of Pokemon-ish, oh, um, but not a reference to Pokemon, I'd assume that it meant uh, Squid Kiss. What's it like is, what is it like to kiss a squid? I would not know. Very, very inky. So There's this is... This is pre Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Yes. I thought Tony Hawk's Pro Skater had come out by now. <coughs> At this point in time. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Wow. Well, wow. We're already started off wonderfully. <coughs> See. Okay. Still time is up. <laughs> God damn. Oh, uh, interesting uh, thing happened recently. Uh, yeah. they had the anime awards, uh, okay. in, uh, in Tokyo, uh, Mercedes Monet was one of the, uh, presenters. Yeah. Uh, so was Megan the Stallion. Really? Yeah. She, uh, she presented anime of the year. Isn't, um, isn't the new day hardcore anime nerds as well a Ouch. lot of wrestlers are i mean uh apparently omos is like the biggest weeb in wwe supposedly 
Well, he's the biggest anything, given his size. That too. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, I mean, New, New Day are a bunch of nerds in general. Um, but, uh, Megan the Stallion literally had a designer dress and hairstyle. She, she was basically cosplaying Bruno Bucciarati from JoJo. Interesting. Yeah. Bruno Maserati. <laughs> So I, I know that Ashley would be going like, ooh, Jojo, nice. Let me, you know, <clears throat> I, I'm looking at a picture of Bruno Buccaneers. I have several thoughts. Um, for one, why does it look like they have crumbs in their hair? And number two, this outfit that they're wearing, they have little black designs that look like sperm. And it, it it's it's quite interesting. Look, look up uh, look up her dress, and you'll see that it literally is a excuse me designer dress version of it. Are we not doing phrasing? Look up her dress. He said, "Look hmm. up her dress." Uh, I see I see a vagina. What, 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 why am I doing this again? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Okay. Well. <laughs> I, I this see is a that pa painfully short time limit yeah. to do anything. I can kind of see why this didn't get released in the United States. Wait, um, it's saying here that Bruno Butt Butt Crack is a, is a is a guy or is it a goyle? It's a guy. Oh, okay. So m most characters in JoJo are male. Until mm -hmm. until you get to the sixth story where it takes place in a prison with a female main character. Ooh la la. Yeah. Bruno Maserat. Ooh. Oh, actually, yeah. I actually oh. got extra time. I made it to a checkpoint. Ooh. If I can get oh. in the fucking hole, there we go. The, are we not doing phrasing? <laughs> nope. Get in the hole. No, no, we're certainly not doing phrasing at all. Oh, certainly? Oh. Certainly not. Hey, listen. Um, I'll have you know, Mike wears very nice shirts. So. I try. It's quite over. Uh, Wipe the, out! The controls for this game are terrible. Why'd you turn into a demon to say that? I don't know. Because I was that disgusted with it that I pulled up, that I pulled forth Cthulhu to uh, poison my game. Cthulhu! Cthulhu! <laughs> this game is Cthulhu! Again, I am seeing, I'm seeing why this did not make it stateside. I'm trying to get side. to that fucking checkpoint, but the controls are so I, bad. Uh, I am... I'm not digging this game. This game is very, uh, the controls look like eggs. Uh, the human entertainment went bankrupt in <laughs> January of 2000. I can't imagine why. Uh, their former members went on to make the companies Sandlot, Spike, Grasshopper Manufacturer, and Nude Maker. Nude, Nude Maker? I did not stutter. Yes, nude maker. Uh, I like I like how me and Mike said that in complete unison. By the way, you would never guess what their first game was. Uh, hmm. uh, uh, hentai game. Uh, Mia Steel Khalifa Battalion. the Battalion. I was gonna say Mia Khalifa the game. <laughs> Wait, Steel Battalion. Yeah, the game with the two hundred dollar controller for the Xbox. Ooh, ooh. Well, actually, yeah. wasn't that game? Wasn't that game kind of good? Um, it was something. It was extremely complicated. 
Right. Like, like it, it had permadeath. You had to eject from the cockpit if you wanted to uh, keep your save file. I, I eject from the cockpit pretty much every day. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, apparently, uh, most of Nude Maker is ex-human entertainment members, including Hifumi Kono, who directed the first two titles in the Clock Tower series of games. God damn it, get up the ramp. Oh, okay. Um, that's, that's oh my good. god, go up the ramp! But looking at the list of games, uh, which is very short, they made what? two games for <clears throat> Elf... Elf Corporation? Get up the fucking ramp, you cocksucker! Um, Mike! <laughs> Elf oh Corporation is an Eroge studio. I hate these controls. These controls blow. Or this rather, was. was an Eroge studio. <laughs> <laughs> please, they they shut please. down in 2015. Please, please. They they made uh, they please. made a game literally up Billy's uh, alley called AV King. They they made a game okay. up Billy's ass. It's called Billy's Colonoscopy. <laughs> Get up the fuck! Oh, oh my god, please! Because because AV please. is please. the abbreviation in Japan for adult video. Please! Oh, oh, oh my that's, god! That's, the, that's that's Japanese for porn. AV. This you game this game don't. is Japanese for eat my fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> they also co-developed Infinite Space with Platinum Games uh, for the Nintendo DS. Uh, they also made Terror of the Stratus for the PSP and Night Cry for Windows and the PS Vita. This game makes me cry what? no matter what day, part time of the day it is. Uh, Sandlot. Sandlot. Uh, let's see. Uh, really, really, un really overrated movie. <clears throat> That's true, too. You're killing, um, you're killing I'm these looking. Balls. I'm looking at the list of games here because Sandlot is still around. Um, they have roughly 25 employees. Oh. Um, a lot of them only were released in Japan, obviously. Um, oh, here we go. Simple 2000 series, volume 81, the Chikyu Boegon 2. They made 81 of those things. Yeah, I don't, uh, that's called Earth Earth Defense Force Two. Right, listen, I would I don't know that I would play Chef Boy RD two or whatever you said. It, it was a shmup game released, I think, on the PlayStation Two. I think if I was hungry enough, I would play a Chef Boy RD game. <laughs> uh, so th they're responsible for the Earth Defense Force series of shmup games. You, you'd but... still be hungry though. You're not eating anything. You're just playing it. No, that's if you play, play Chinese food simulator. If you play. Chef Boyardee <laughs> 64. It's a shmup where you're a piece of ravioli firing noodles at um, aliens. Spike. What did Spike make? Um, oh, Fire uh, Pro Wrestling. Thousand ways on the uh, Game Boy Advance. Thousand Ways to Die. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you mean, you don't mean the television network. My bad. Can I just, um, can I just say, not that I want to cut Diesel for a, a momentarily... After what Mike just said, now I want to write a letter to Nintendo. Have I got an idea for you? Anyway, go on. Uh, well, Spike Spike seems to be fairly uh, successful. It's called Paramount uh, well, Network now. Well, no, no, they uh, <laughs> they they actually uh, they merged with Chunsoft to become Spike Chunsoft, so they still exist, just not really. Mm -hmm. uh, they're responsible for Danganronpa, apparently. I mean, let me tell you something. When they did Gary the Rat and Stripperella, that was pretty bad. Listen, I'd rather they just they merged with Chun Li to make the Thigh Mommy Company. <laughs> uh, thoughts on uh, Air Border sixty four, Dane? <laughs> pretty fucking bad. The controls yeah. were awful. Um, I think there's a reason why this game stayed in Europe because it's. It, it's it's poopy. Jason, Europe has a thing for bad games. I mean, look at look look at who they birthed with companies like Ocean. You know. So I mean, it's Ocean. only appropriate that the state in Europe. 
and Japan because I mean we're we're America. We like our good games, except when not filled with capitalism. Then you got to fill them with capitalism to make them worse. True. Yeah, the controls are ass. Um, it would be a lot more enjoyable if it was like Tony Hawk controls, but it's not that. It will never be that. It's it's crap. This is a year before Tony Hawk's Pro Skater came out. Look at this. It was made by Gaga Communications. Yeah. More like Gaga Communications. Radio Gaga. Uh, Radio Goo Goo. Scores out of 10, Dane. One. Jason. Zero. Uh, yeah, zero. I love the character designs. I will give it a point five, which doesn't count for the, the character designs. They are certainly of the time. Yeah. Uh, on this episode, we played Mission Impossible, Arrow Gauge, and Air Border 64. Best game of the episode, Dane. As if it's actually a question. Arrow Gauge, of course. Jason. Arrow Gauge. Yeah, Arrow Gwaggy. Uh, if, you like Arrow what we if you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Fortune and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. Good night, everybody.